30 years ago, a young mother was found killed in a Mission Valley field with her child sitting on her body, physically unharmed. As we continue to highlight San Diego County's cold cases, new at 11 ABC, 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala and photojournalist Steve Roish bring to light the case of Maria Cortez and where it stands today. This busy area of Mission Valley Road, now filled with homes, was once a dirt field with some trails and the scene of a homicide 30 years ago. Back on March 4th, 1992, a little after 7 in the morning, uh, some passerbys discovered the body of Maria Cortez. 23-year-old Maria Blanca Cortez was described as a hardworking and devoted mother. She lived with her boyfriend, the father of her child, in East San Diego. Cortez worked as a housekeeper and was taking sewing classes. She worked hard. She had ambition. She wanted to do something with her life. Senior investigator Tony Johnson with the San Diego County District Attorney's Office says she was last seen alive on the evening of March 3rd after picking up her two-year-old daughter from a family member's home and walking toward Morena Boulevard. Her boyfriend was at work in Rancho Bernardo at the time. We're thinking that maybe she took the bus as far as Mission Valley and then got some kind of ride or rented to somebody. The only thing that hurt Maria was she didn't have a car. Johnson says Cortez took buses to get around, but unfortunately had a habit of accepting rides from strangers, which may have been what happened the evening of March 3rd, 1992. Well, it seems certain that she was picked up in some vehicle and driven to that location. Uh, we don't know whether she knew the person or whether it was a stranger ride. There were tire tracks in the mud because it was a rainy night. So it looks like she was driven out to that area and then murdered. Several people have told police that they saw... Looking through our ABC 10 News archives, we found this report. Police believe the little girl was sitting on the body of her murdered mother. An interview with a bicyclist who was one of several people to make the discovery. Cortez lifeless with her daughter sitting on her body. I rode my bike into the field. I was expecting a homeless person and I was just going to see if they were okay. But when I got about, I guess, maybe 10 feet away, I saw it was a little girl who was bloody, who was sitting on a body and she just turned and looked at me. An autopsy later revealed that Cortez was stabbed and strangled. No DNA evidence from the offender was apparent at the time and the case has been cold for 30 years. But recent developments in technology could eventually mean a break in the case. There have been a number of developments in forensics over the last few years. One of the big developments is the ability to get DNA from rootless hairs. That's significant in Cortez's case because investigators found a few hairs on her that didn't match hers. Johnson says they're currently working on getting that hair processed to see if they can get a DNA profile, but they still need the public's help. We're hoping the public can maybe give us a new lead or give us a new piece of information that we can start the investigation over again. Johnson's asking anyone who may remember something helpful, even a small detail from that night, to come forward. Any little tiny piece could help. Could give us a direction to go in, could give us a new way of looking at the case. We've met with the family recently. Uh, they're very motivated to see the case solved, in particular the daughter, who wants nothing more than to find out who killed her mom. With photojournalist Steve Roish, Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. If you believe you have information that may be helpful in Maria Cortez's case, you are asked to contact Crime Stoppers. The man